Good morning students, welcome back to Shadamar's channel. In this video, I am posting the APMC 2021 paper solutions of the paper problems from the topic complex numbers. And already I posted one video of this topic complex numbers, the problems of the APMC 2021. And in the previous video, I covered half of the problems. And in this video, I covered the remaining all problems that are in the paper APMC 2021 from the topic complex numbers. Okay, let us start the class. The problem, the first one, let omega is equal to 6 2 pi by 3. That is cos 2 pi by 3 plus i sin 2 pi by 3. And the value of the f of x is equal to x power 7 minus 2 into x power 4. Minus 4x cube plus 8 is equal to 0. Then which of the following option is correct? So here some sets are given. The options are this is the subset of the solution set. This is the subset of the solution set. This is not the subset of the solution set. And this is the subset of the solution set. So four options are given here. That is now first I am finding the solution set of the given equation and then we have to check which one of the given options is the correct answer. Okay. So first I am taking the given function here given that f of x is equals to x power 7 minus 2 into x power 4 minus 4x cube plus 8 is equal to 0. Now first I am taking that x power 4 common from the first and second terms so it becomes x cube minus 2. And here I am taking minus 4 common. So this is x cube minus 2 equal to 0. Which implies the first equation is x power 4 minus 4 equals to 0. And the second equation x cube minus 2 equal to 0. Okay. So x power 4 is equals to 4. Then x is equals to 4 power 1 by 4. So this is equals to 2 square power 1 by 4 into 1 power 1 by 4. Okay. So 1 power 1 by 4 is equals to 4th roots of unity is equals to this becomes only 2 power 1 by 2. So this is 2 power 1 by 2 into 1 power 1 by 4. 4th roots of unity are nothing but plus or minus 1 comma plus or minus i. So in this case the solution set is equals to 2 power 1 by 2 into 1 2 power 1 by 2. 2 power 1 by 2 into minus 1 minus 2 power 1 by 2. 2 power 1 by 2 into i and the last value minus 2 power 1 by 2 into i. So these are the solutions of the first equation. Now finding the solutions of second equation. What is the second equation here? We have x cube minus 2 is equal to 0. Then x cube is equal to 2. Then x is equal to 2 power 1 by 3 into 1 power 1 by 3. 1 power 1 by 3 means the roots are cube roots of unity which are nothing but 1 omega omega square. So the roots are 2 power 1 by 3, 2 power 1 by 3 into omega and 2 power 1 by 3 into omega square. Now this is the solution set of the given equation. In the solution set we have the values 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So this is the solution set. Now checking the options one by one. So what is given here? 2 power 1 by 2, 2 power 1 by 3 omega, 2 power 1 by 3 omega is the subset. So see here, here we have the root value omega, but omega is not there in the solution set. So this is not the correct option. Okay. Now checking the next one. 2 power 1 by 2. Yes, this is the root value. Minus 2 power 1 by 3. Minus 2 power 1, 1 by 3. We don't have that value in the solution set. So this is not the correct answer. Now checking the third one, 2 power 1 by 3, yes this is a root, 2 power 1 by 2, yes this is a root, minus 2 power 1 by 2, I, yes this is a root, the last one, and 2 power 1 by 3, omega square, yes this is a root. What is given here, this is not the subset of the solution set, no, this is the subset of the given solution set. So this is also not the correct option. So obviously the last one is right answer, now checking the answers, 2 power 1 by 3, yes this is a root value, 2 power 1 by 3, omega, yes this is a root value, 2 power 1 by 2, yes this is minus 2 power 1 by 2. Yes, this is the root. So, last option is the correct answer. Okay, understand all of you. Here, don't take the options verification. If you follow the options verifications and so many options are here, more than two options are satisfied here. So, better processor is just to finding the roots values and checking which one of the uh, sub, which one of the sets is the correct answer. Okay, this, this is the processor. See the next one. If Z1, Z2 are the conjugate complex numbers, match the items under the following columns. So here two conjugate complex numbers are given. Given that Z1, Z2 are conjugate complex numbers. That is first I take that Z1 is equals to X1 plus IY1. 
then what is the value of the z2 this is nothing but the conjugate of the given complex number which is nothing but x1 minus i y1 okay so match the following match the items under the following column so what is the answer of the z1 z2 that is the first one z1 into z2 z1 into z2 is equals to so this is z1 into z1 bar what is z2 this is nothing but the conjugate of the first complex number and what is the value of the and what is the value of the mod z1 square, z1 into z1 bar mod z1 square that is equals to x1 square plus y1 square mod z1 square that is 1 is the answer of the 1 is equal to c okay we match the first option to the c first two value to the c now what is second one z1 plus z2 is equal to 0 z1 plus z2 is equal to 0 then what is this x1 plus i y1 plus x1 minus i y1 equals to 0 means 2 x1 is equal to 0 means x1 equal to 0 so this is nothing but the imaginary axis that is 2 is connected to the a here now it is enough to find the third one to get the required answer third one answer is either b or d we have to check this one only so what is third one imaginary part of the z1 what is the imaginary part of the z1 that is equals to only y1 here we have now what will be the remaining two options here we have imaginary part of minus z2 real part of z2 what is real part of z2 x1 but this is y1 so this is not the correct one and checking the imaginary part of minus z2 imaginary part of minus z2 is equals to z2 is equals to x1 minus i y1 then minus z2 is equals to minus x1 minus of minus plus i y1 so what is the imaginary part of minus z2 this is also equals to y1 so that is third option third one is connected to the b so answer is the second option okay that's all that is the answer see the next one if 1 alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 are the roots of the equation z power 5 minus 1 is equal to 0 and omega is the cube root of unity then what is the value of the omega minus 1 into omega minus alpha 1 into omega minus alpha 2 into omega minus alpha 3 into omega minus alpha 4 alpha 4 plus omega what is this answer what is the answer of this simplified form of this question okay what is given so roots are 1 alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 first i am taking the summation value so to this equation what is the sigma alpha value suppose the roots are alpha beta gamma delta p suppose these are the roots values now what is the sigma alpha that is equal to zero there is no z power 4 value here and what is sigma alpha square there is no z cube zero and what is sorry sigma alpha beta and what is sigma alpha beta gamma what is this this is nothing but the sum of the product of two two roots the sum of the product of the three three roots theory of equations concept there is no z power term z cube term there is no z square term so this is zero what is sigma alpha beta gamma delta this is equals to zero there is no z term also here what is the value of the alpha beta gamma delta p what are this this is s1 this is s2 this is s3 this is s4 and the last value s5 is equals to the formula is minus of minus constant by z power 5 quotient that is equals to 1 okay this is the value of the s5 which is equals to 1 here so these are the values now i am taking the direct product value here so what is how to take the direct product value first we have to take the omega power 5 1 2 3 4 5 here we have the 5 omega so first we take that omega power 5 minus omega power 4 into sigma alpha plus omega cube into sigma alpha beta minus omega square into sigma alpha beta gamma plus omega into sigma alpha beta gamma delta and the last value minus alpha beta gamma delta p this is equals to zero so plus omega so this is the last term here so this is the last term and these are nothing but the product of the these five values okay but here but here already we have that this one is equal to 0, this is 0, this is 0, this is 0. 
so the remaining value will be omega power 5 minus alpha beta gamma delta p value is equals to 1 plus omega but what is omega power 5 that is omega square omega square plus 1 minus omega already we know that this is minus 1 so minus 1 minus 1 is equal to minus 2 that's all this is the answer very easy question simply applying the theory of equations concept here to get the required answer okay okay so the next problem the radius of the circle represented by the equation 1 plus i into 1 plus 3i into 1 plus 7i is equal to x plus i y. What is the radius of the equation circle represented by this equation? So to find the circle equation, first I am applying the modulus to the given equation. Now what is this value square root of 1 plus 1 is equal to root 2 square root of 1 plus 9 is equal to root 10 square root of 49 plus 1 is equal to 50. This is equal to under square root of x square plus y square. Now squaring on both sides then we get that x square plus y square is equal to this is 500 into 2 is equal to 1000. So x square plus y square is equal to 1000. So this is nothing but 10 root 10 whole square. What is the value of the 10 root 10 whole square? 100 into 10 is equal to 1000. So x square plus y square is equal to 10 root 10 whole square, 10 root 10 whole square which is in the form of the x square plus y square is equal to r square. So the value of the r is equal to 10 root 10 that is nothing but the second option. Okay, understand all of you. To find the equation of circle simply applying the modulus to this equation that's all. Okay, see the next one. If z1 is equal to 2 plus 3i and z2 is equal to 3 plus 2i then what is the value of the product of these two matrices. So first I am taking the product value. First row by the first column. Z1 into Z1 bar plus Z2 into Z2 bar. Okay. Now first row by the second column minus Z1 Z2 plus Z1 Z2. Now coming to the second row. Second row by the first column minus Z1 bar into Z2 bar minus Z1 bar into Z2 bar. And the last one this not minus here this is plus so plus z1 bar into z2 bar and the last one minus of minus plus z2 into z2 bar plus z1 into z1 bar okay now here the 10 z1 z2 minus z1 z2 gets cancelled z1 bar z2 bar minus z1 bar z2 bar are cancelled so what is the value of the z1 into z1 bar this is equal to mod z1 square the direct formula which is equals to square root of 4 plus 9 whole square is equals to 30. So this is the value of the z1 plus z2 bar. Similarly the value of the z2 into z2 bar is equal to mod z2 square that is equals to mod z2 square that is square root of 9 plus 4 whole square is equal to 13. So this is also equal to 13. So this is first value is equal to 13 here. Second value is equal to 13. 13 plus 13 26 0 0. This is also 13 plus 13 26. So answer is equal to 26 into i. That's all and that is the third option. Okay z square plus z plus 1 is equal to 0 where z is a complex number then what is this one what is given here z square plus z plus 1 equal to 0 means clearly z is equal to omega satisfies this equation so omega is the root of that equation that is in place of z i am taking the omega here so the question becomes omega plus 1 by omega whole cube plus omega power 4 plus 1 by omega power 4 whole cube okay and here in place of so this is equals to omega plus 1 by omega whole cube plus omega power 4 is nothing but omega here omega plus 1 by omega whole cube is equals to 2 into omega plus in place of 1 I am substituting that omega cube here so this is 2 into omega cube by omega is equals to omega square omega plus omega square whole cube 2 into minus 1 whole cube is equals to minus 2. That's all and that is the last option. Okay.